2025 Audi A6 and S6 Sportback e-trons revealed with Aero, tech top of mind. Range and charging specs look promising, but we're not sold on the looks yet. Audi A6 Sportback e-tron. View 40 photos. The Audi A6 Sportback e-tron is here, adding yet another all-electric model to Audi's fast-growing EV lineup. And for those who might want a sportier version, the S6 Sportback e-tron was just revealed alongside it. If you're already familiar with the Q6 e-tron, an electric SUV we've already driven, then you're mostly up to date on the underpinnings and inner workings of the A6 Sportback e-tron. Built on the PPE platform, also shared with the Mackin Electric, the A6 Sportback e-tron will come in both RWD and Quattro AWD forms. The RWD version is fitted with a single electric motor good for 362 horsepower, a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 5.2 seconds and a 130 miles per hour top speed. Step up to the Quattro. And Audi adds a second electric motor to the front axle for a combined output of 422 horsepower lowering the 0 to 60 miles per hour time to just 4.3 seconds. Meanwhile, the S6 Sportback e-tron is even quicker. With a combined output of 496 horsepower, or 543 horsepower for a quick burst when using launch control, the 0 to 60 miles per hour time drops to just 3.7 seconds when you activate the launch. And top speed ticks up to 149 miles per hour. Every version of this sportback, both A6 and S6, uses the same 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, with 94.4 kilowatt hours usable. EPA range figures aren't available now, but WLTP estimates are. Audi says the RWD A6 Sportback e-tron can go over 750 kilometers, which is about 447 miles. Meanwhile, the S6 Sportback e-tron is estimated at about 398 miles of range. Expect the EPA numbers to be well below these estimates. What we know will be impressive are the charging specs. The system's 800 volt technology helps Audi to a maximum charge speed of 270 kilowatts. Which Audi says allows for a 10 to 80% charge in just 21 minutes. You'll still be able to fast charge on charging stations with 400 volt technology, too. As the A6 e-tron can split its battery into two banks with a voltage of 400 volts each, allowing them to be charged in parallel at up to 135 kilowatts. For those home charging, a 22 kilowatts AC charging option will be available later with 11 kilowatts charging available at launch. It's not currently slated for US sale, but a smaller 83 kilowatt hour battery model will be sold in other markets. Audi S6 Sportback e-tron. View 31 photos. As for the car's design, the theme of the day is smooth and clean. It has a similar bulkiness to its lower half as the Mackin Electric does. Emphasized even more by the black insert in the sill area, which Audi says is there to highlight its floor-mounted battery design. Its grille design is reminiscent in shape, style to the Q6 e-tron. 
and Audi also sticks with the separate DRL headlight modules, effectively trying to hide the actual headlights in the car's front mask of black painted trim. Light plays a big role in this car's design, but some of its coolest features like the active digital light signatures and adaptive matrix LED headlights are not available due to US regulations. Nevertheless, the A6 Sportback e-tron is fitted with some seriously rad-looking OLED front and rear lights with customizable light signatures, up to 8 in the US, you can choose from. Even the Four Rings logo is lit, so you'll always know an Audi is approaching or driving away from you at night with only a short glance. We don't have an aero figure for the US. But Eurospec A6 Sportback e-trons sure are slippery with a 0.21 coefficient of drag when optioned with Audi's second-generation digital camera mirrors. Its Sportback shape means it'll be utilitarian with a hatchback opening rear end. Plus, while we don't have specs yet, the rear seats look spacious and well-designed with an almost entirely flat floor. Tech galore dominates the front of the cabin. As a 14.5-inch touchscreen infotainment display is mounted in the center alongside an 11.9-inch digital cluster, 10.9-inch front passenger display and new augmented reality head-up display. That passenger display has an active privacy mode that ensures the driver can't see the movies or shows the passenger is streaming on it while driving. The infotainment system uses Android Automotive OS for its operating system and can be updated over the air. Its voice control system has greatly improved, Audi says and even features integration with ChatGPT to ensure it can answer practically any question you might throw at it. Audio playback can optionally come through a 20-speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system that features headrest speakers for things like navigation announcements or a phone call you might not want the whole car to hear. Above your head is an optional smart panoramic glass roof that can be switched from transparent to opaque at the touch of a button, allowing you to either let light in or block it out. Audi says the A6 Sportback e-tron offers an optional adaptive air suspension system that moves through four different ride height levels. It specifically calls out an efficiency mode that moves the body down by about 0.8 inch to improve aerodynamics and range. As for performance, Audi says the S6 Sportback e-tron has a more rear-biased AWD system and also offers variable torque distribution. Both the A6 and S6 versions are equipped with staggered tires in an effort to improve stability and sportiness, too. The A6 and S6 Sportback e-tron models will be going on sale in the US by the spring-summer of 2025, and pricing will need to wait until closer to launch. Audi S6 e-tron Avant. View 18 photos. They will unfortunately not be joined by the Avant versions unveiled simultaneously in Europe, Audi confirmed to us. You can see photos of the electric wagons in the gallery directly above. Just like the Sportback, Audi revealed the wagon in A6 and S6 versions, meaning there's both a tame and a spicier version that we won't be getting here. Practically everything is the same between the Sportback and Avant outside of body shape, and as expected, the wagon is less aerodynamic and suffers slightly in total range as a result.